All right, this video is for a 2013 through 2019 R231 Mercedes-Benz SL550. We're going to be replacing the center console, which has broken pieces on the inside of our unit right here. So let me go ahead and show you guys the situation, what this car is facing. So this is the cover lid for the rear center console. It actually has come loose. And take a look upon further inspection. As you can see, there's missing chunks of black plastic actually holds that lid in place. So basically this frame of the center console is trash. So we're replacing this center console on the rear. We're gonna go ahead and remove this cup holder. Basically just squeeze these two tabs, go into the center and it should pull upright. And then we have a plastic cover right there, which contains two Torx head screws below that. We need to carefully pry this plastic piece up. So let's go ahead, pry that plastic piece up, take the screws out and go next step. Now that we have the access cover removed, which exposed the T20 Torx head screws, those are now officially removed. Next step of the process, we have the side panel pieces right here, which basically interlock into the center console. You can kind of see down there in the cavity, they have some clips. So we're gonna carefully unclip this from the center console, both sides, here's the passenger side. So once we have this pulled away, we should be able to grab the center console, tilt it outwards, backwards, just like that. And it should just lift right out. So let's go ahead and see what happens once we undo these trim panels from the center console. Okay, the old rear center console has been successfully removed from the 2013 SL550. Let me go ahead and show you guys how this thing mounts. So you can see here on the bottom, you have this tab that's intact. However, this tab right on this side, it's been snapped off. We found this in the bottom of the car, cleaned all the broken plastic. You can kind of see here in numerous locations on this old console of this broken lip, which basically has a slide which covers this center console. So that's basically the main problem of why we had to replace the center console. You can look all that broken plastic inside there. You can see this broken plastic right here. Yeah, this thing is basically trash. So this right here is our new center console. This was about $250 with a 10% off coupon. And there's the part number for reference. Now, not all parts are going to be the same because basically you want to dictate the color of this top lid to the color of your interior. So we went with a black interior. So the first step in installing the new center console is to see these tabs. We need to align these tabs carefully on the chassis of the car. And I'll go ahead and show you the inside. And then once that's in place, there's two screws that hold in position from the plastic cover. So let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on inside the car. So obviously in the previous step, I had to carefully pry away this plastic panel. And then once the new one's in position, we can go ahead and reattach with the plastic clips. But in order to reinstall the new center console, you got two metal tabs right here on the bottom of the chassis of the car, and that basically needs to just basically clip inside just like that. Don't force it in, and once it's in position, basically lay flat, and we can go ahead and put the screws in, which will hold it in, and then put the plastic cover on final piece. 
So let's go ahead and carefully position the new center console in a Mercedes-Benz SL550. Okay, the new rear center console was fully locked in position. The two tabs on the bottom side are locked into the frame of the car. And the two Torx head T20 screws are in position with the plastic cover. Went ahead and put the cup holder in position. Now one thing to note, I went ahead and removed the cover in order to get this thing in position because once you have the cover in place, I'm not able to tuck the center console underneath this plastic piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, carefully put the plastic cover back on and then we're gonna go ahead and carefully reattach these side pieces and we should be wrapping up installation here. So let's go ahead and take care of this. Okay, here's the final result, guys. Newly installed rear center console, undamaged. We can roll this cover backwards and forwards, unlike the other one that had broken clips. Everything looks great. Went ahead and put the factory cover back on. Now, when I ordered the other one, it was actually pure black. Didn't realize this car had a thin little ivory bead right there. So went ahead and removed it from the old one. And basically this just clipped right in place. Just gotta be careful with these clips. Don't wanna be forceful and don't wanna break those things. Also, had to go ahead and remove this and reinstall this, which is the fuse box cover, and actually think the battery's under this area as well. So everything is working successful. Thing rolls forwards and backwards smoothly. Cup holders are back in place, and the trim on the sides is reclipped. Can never tell this thing was repaired. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the old one that was damaged. Okay, here's the damage unit. As you can see, all this broken plastic right here. Basically, this is the guide for that sliding cover. You can see all the broken plastics on the inside there as well. Also on the bottom side, broken tab right there, but this tab is intact. We have no clue how this thing got damaged, but this car was bought pre-owned with about 1300 miles on it. We think the previous owner had some heavy weight on top of this, which is why this thing was broken. My dad always said that this thing had a problem once he bought this car, so so new center console is fully installed. We can go ahead and take this and toss it in the trash. And I hope this video can help out other R231 SL550 owners.